I've never been paranoid. I don't know what it feels like to think that everybody is out to get you, to see shadowy danger lurking around every corner. And yet, that must be what it's like to be a religious fundamentalist. The temptations of the devil lurk everywhere, sometimes right in your face, sometimes subtle and persuasive. Everybody is out to get you, to tempt you away from God, and you have to wrap yourself in your cloak of faith to make sure you don't succumb. The consequences are eternal, after all. You're fighting for your very soul, and nothing else matters. I can intellectually lay those words out there. I can picture looking at the world like that. But I can't sum it up what the visceral reaction of the Fundy must be. I cannot feel that opposition pressing in from all sides. If I could, it might go a long way to explaining the behavior of the religious nutbars around us. It explains their opposition to things like gay rights. They can't allow us LGBT folks to gain any kind of legitimacy. If we did, it might tempt away from God those who would otherwise suppress their natural tendency toward homosexuality. In their minds, homosexuality must remain demonized, and that might be more literal than any of us realize, in order to save souls. Oh, they try to dress it up with other arguments, but come on. If they were truly honest with themselves, and with us, they'd state honestly and truly what their reasons are. And homosexuality is just one of many issues about which these people must feel beset upon from all sides. Any value system which isn't theirs, any way of life not condoned by their denomination is to be feared and reviled as evil, as something which will consume us all in torment. I can't imagine what it's like to live that way, to see the world through this lens of perpetual and insidious conspiracy theory, to live with that level of xenophobia, to see non-conformity as a threat. If anything, I'm the exact opposite. Diversity and uniqueness are, in my never humble opinion, among the greatest virtues a people can possess. But even this tiny glimpse into the mind of a fundamentalist is terrifying, and more than a little sad if the truth must be known. I feel sorry for these people. They cannot be living good, enjoyable lives. Or at least I would feel sorry for them if they weren't making the lives of others rather less enjoyable because of their delusions. If they wrap themselves in their religious cloak and leave the rest of us the heck alone, then maybe they deserve some sympathy from me. Instead, they intrude upon our lives in very unwelcome ways, and for that I cannot feel anything for them but contempt and pity.